Hello everyone. Today we shall see how to uh, remove matching rows or replace matching rows. Here I have a table which consists of ID from 1001 to 1020. I'll add a step. I'll type table dot remove matching rows. Okay. I'll click over it. I'll open the parenthesis. In the first parameter I have to provide table. I'll put hash change type 1 because that is my previous step which consists of data. I'll put a comma. I have to provide rows as list. So in order to provide as list, I'll open the curly braces and uh, to, to insert a row, I'll insert square brackets. Suppose that I want to remove the row where the name is David Lee. Okay. It, it is present in the fifth row and uh, I'll, after the curly brace, I'll put a comma. Here in the third parameter, we have to type equation criteria. I have to uh, give the name column because I am removing the row based on the name. Okay, this is my this would be my equation criteria which I have to provide it in text like I have to include in double quotes. As soon as I click over here, here you could see that my fifth row has disappeared. Okay, what if we have multiple uh, rows? Whether it let us see whether it uh, removes those row, remove those rows or not. Okay, I am copying this. Uh, formula let us see a different table where i have repeated the rows thrice in order to show you the difference here you could see that there are 60 rows now okay i'll add the new step okay i'll replace the step and then uh, we could see that the previous step is changed at type 1 in both the tables so it won't make a difference as soon as i click here now you could see that there are only 57 rows Okay, it has checked each and every row and then it has eliminated the rows where David Lee is present. Suppose that you want to include multiple uh, rows, you could put a comma and uh, type name equal to another, let us take another name which is uh, William Jones in the ninth row. Let us see if it eliminates that or not. Okay. I would include this in square bracket, so I'll put a square bracket around it. As soon as I click here, here you could see the change. Okay, now my 1009 has disappeared along with the 1005. Okay, these two, you know, names uh, containing rows has disappeared. This is how we use remove matching rows. Based on the criteria, we could remove those matching rows. Whether it, whether it repeats or whether it does not repeat, we could uh, like make the changes in both the situations. Let us see how to replace the rows. Okay. I have a simple data where I have repeated these five rows. Okay. These five rows twice in order to show you the difference. Here in the fifth row, I have David Lee. Okay. I'll show you by changing the entire row. I'll type table dot replace matching rows I'll open the parenthesis I'll provide the table name which is change at type 1 I'll put a comma in you could see that replacements as list is my second parameter I'll open the list in the square brackets inside the list I'll, I'll type the entire row which is id equal to 1005 comma name equal to david Lee. Okay, I'll put a comma. I'll give sales. Okay, I have to provide sales, which is existing sales is 2000, sorry, 16,000. Okay, in order to provide the changes, I'll copy this record and uh, I have to put a comma and uh, make the changes in the second, second line. Okay, to make you clear, I'll put shift, I'll use shift enter, make it in different lines. Okay, here you could see that this is my second parameter. Okay, this, this would be my second parameter. And then here, instead of David Lee, I'll change it to Tom. Okay, instead of uh, this sales, what I could do is I'll change it to 10,000. Okay, let the ID number be same. Let us see whether it changes or not. Okay, as soon as I clicked over here, here you could see that the David Lee name is now changed to Tom 
and the sales amount is changed to 10,000. This is how you could uh, replace matching rows based upon the condition. Okay, please practice. This is very useful function and uh, thank you for watching. We shall meet in the next video.